All right, let's have some fun. We are going to create a package and then we are going to install it and see what happens. So before we get to the fun part, let's understand what we are about to do first. So what's in a package? What is a package anyway? A package can contain any of the Salesforce component you want to add. So it can contain a custom object, all the custom fields, all the, you know, anything you created for your app. But there are limitations still of what can get into a package, such as an approval process. You cannot add a approval process to a package. So if your app includes series of approval processes, you will have to write up a documentation on your app installation manual and ask everybody who are installing the app to go through the documentation and follow the configuration steps such as um, adding um, approval processes or any other um, components in Salesforce that is not supported in a package. So what is the advantage of a managed released package? First, intellectual property protection for Apex, meaning whoever install it cannot see your codes. So all your Apex codes, it's invisible to anybody who install it, right? So it, it protects your intellectual property. Nobody can just clone it and then modify the codes and then rename it and sell it or even distribute it for free and claiming it as their own. They can't do that because they can't even see the code, right? Second, built-in versioning support for API accessible components. So you have versioning support. Ability to branch and patch a previous version. So if there is a bug, you can patch the version and release all the updated uh, version to all your customers. You can do that with a managed package. You cannot do that with unmanaged package. So ability to seamlessly push patches and major updates to subscribers. So you can push updates and patches to your subscribers, right? Unique naming of all components to ensure conflict-free installs. Unique naming using namespaces, which we will learn on this particular trail. Ability to control subscriber access via licenses. So, say you want to sell your app, right? And you have monthly subscription and you are charging your client maybe $5 per user per month and you can manage that through licenses. So they have 1000 users, you get $5,000 a month and you can build them and freeze the license, add more license through this, uh, this management part, which is awesome. So this is how you run your business um, app, Salesforce app business through the manage released packages. So package lifecycle in a customer org. So first you publish version one of your app in a manage release package, the final version. The customer installs the package, the customers customizes your app. They can tweak it, add more custom fields, add more validation rules, add more processes, whatever they wanna do with your app, right? And then you publish version two of your app in a managed release package. You got version two now, because you've added some more cool features. The customers install the new version of the package on top of the existing package, now without breaking anything. This is the cool part, right? So that's basically the life cycle, which is important. Please read through all the details you have here. We're not gonna through uh, go through and read word for word. So let's create a simple app to package up. So first of all, before we do that, I am going to log into my PDE, 
Partner Developer Edition uh, org. Okay, it's shown dev there. So this is my PDE. We've discussed about this on the previous videos. So if I go to my environment hub on my management development, um, environment hub there. So I have a few orgs I have created together with you on the videos. We have shown dev one. This is the development org that we are going to create this sample package, okay? And then we have this org, which is sown.io uh, sown PDE, which we are using to, uh, to manage the developers or the development orgs. So we are not going to create it here. We are going to create it on the sown dev one, okay? We have turned on single sign on, so I can just click on here and log in. Boom. All right. So the first step we want to do, this is our zone dev one. We want to create a simple app. Basically, it's just an object and the name is trail tracker, right? So I saw these steps and I think it's different now because Salesforce keeps updating their whole user interface and the processes they do. So you can't exactly follow the steps here because I don't see this add app thing. It's not there anymore. So what we are going to do instead is we are going to create an object uh, called trail tracker, all right? And then trail trails, and then we are going to add an app with it. So just follow my lead here. So to create an app, you already know this if you're already following the previous developers trail, this is, um, this is like the basics, right? So let's go ahead to my PDE, my zone dev one. I'm gonna create a new object and create a new object here, custom object, and just name it, uh, what do we wanna name it again? Trail tracker, and then trail trails. Uh, let's name it trail then. Trails, this is the object, okay? Object name trail, and then deployed and add a tab as well save and just save okay basically we are adding a tab here i'm just gonna pick one icon which is um anything well maybe insect follow the insect trail <laughs> next next um, include tab, nope, we don't want there. We just want it on the new app we are going to create and save. So we just create a custom object named trail in our zone dev one, right? Next step is we are going to create an app from the app manager. Here, a new lightning app. Let's name it trail tracker trail tracker over there and we don't want an image because I don't have one right now TT let's just next standard navigation desktop and phone setup keep that add utility item if you want to because we want to make it super simple right now and I want to add the trail object we just created trail boom just one right so next and which profile can access this let's include everybody we want everybody to be able to play with the trails or learn save that so we have a new app called trail tracker right here at the bottom trail tracker is a new app now we should have put some descriptions but it's blank that's fine for the sample all right, let's move on. So we have that, we've created an app now. Let's talk about packages and namespaces. So what are namespaces? This is to make sure there will be no conflict between the thousands of apps that is that are in existence today, right? Or even conflicts with the Salesforce standard objects. So 
if you, an app developer, for example, created an object named Vanner C, and then another developer out there in another part of the world also created an app and they want to name the object also Vendor C, there would be two Vendor C, right? There will be a conflict. So namespaces provides unique identification of every single app that is in existence in the Salesforce ecosystem, right? Basically like a domain name, but on the object or any component level. So basically that's that. So what do you do with it? Now you have to be careful because the final version is being um, deployed through your golden org, right? Your golden package org. Later on, we are going to create another org, which is a golden package org. And that is where we are going to uh, finalize our app. So when you are developing, make sure you, you're using uh, uh, a namespace that's just for development or just for testing not the 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 best name you can you can have for your app not the best don't choose the best when you're developing or testing because that's going to be stuck on that org forever you can't undo it or release it you cannot all right so when you're developing just make it like trail app underscore test one this has to be just whatever this has to be just whatever okay don't name this your organization's name because you want to keep that for the golden package for act the actual final app all right so just keep that in mind that is why I'm choosing a namespace so let's create a name a namespace for our zone dev one here all right so I'm gonna go here and if I search for packages packages package manager now we want to edit this all right so let's edit this guy yes continue now this is the namespace uh, we want to choose so I don't want to choose a really nice name I'm just gonna make it uh, zone dev one so make it obvious because this is zone dev one as well I'm gonna make it sound dev one. So the namespace is available, all right? So I'm just gonna review my selections here and save. So sound dev one, right? Now check out the trails here. Check it out. API name is now sound dev one underscore underscore trail underscore underscore C so in the whole worldwide of Salesforce ecosystem there is none other like this this is the only one right so there will be no conflict all right so that's the whole point so I have added this the the namespace let's move on packages and testing so create manage beta. why do we want to create a manage beta package first because the final release it's final you cannot add modify or change anything to it once it's final if you are still developing it you don't want to make it final okay so here read the whole thing here what makes a managed release package the best choice for selling and distributing your app also makes it a poor choice for testing. After you add certain components to a managed package, you cannot modify them. Let's say in developing your app, you create four custom objects, Larry, Curly, Mo, and John. When you go to test your app, you decide John is unnecessary. Let's get rid of John. Sorry if the object John is in your managed release package, you cannot remove it. John is going to be stuck there forever. So make sure you go manage beta package first. Test it and test it and test it. Once you're sure, 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 then you can change it to manage released package, right? So we want to create now. So we want to create a new package and call it trail app 
and we want to make it uh, manage beta package. All right, so go back here, go back home. This is our zone dev still. And package manager again. Now, a new one, new package, boom. What do we want to name it? Trail app. Trail app, right? So language is English, um, that's it. And manage, all right, we know, manage. So let's, I'm gonna save it if you wanna, you know, notify on Apex error and, and do stuff like that. That's the fancy stuff, let's keep it simple for now. Now, you can add components, right? What do you wanna add here, all right? So I'm gonna add my trail app, my trail tracker app, right? And I'm gonna add to package here, and then view, dependencies so everything is already added there okay my object and page layout and everything is already added so we're done next step is uploading it so um, once you're done you can actually upload it that's the next step that's discussed on this trail right mm -hmm. make your package available for installation Click your package name uh, and then click upload. Okay, we are going to upload them. All right. Um, upload. Boom. Now we're going to decide here. The version is Spring 2020. I like that. Version 1. All right. So manage beta. We don't want to make it manage yet. Okay. Release note. Well, if you want to have a web page. Uh, discussing about the release note, you can put a web page and put it there if you want to. We're not gonna do that for now. Post install instructions. Remember, as I told you, if you have an app that is complex and it needs further configuration after installation, you can put it here so people can follow it. All right. So we're gonna put none for now, such as um, approval processes and stuff like that. If you also want to put a password, so not anybody can install it, say they have to buy it first, you know, or email you for access, then they can install the package. You can choose a password there, all right? So additional feature requirements to install this app, if your app requires a certain components or a certain objects to be installed or existing in, in Salesforce, they have to have flow, they have to have email to case and stuff like that. You can also define it here. Okay, you have to make sure you check the box. It is required for this app to have flows. Otherwise, my app will not even work. So you have to check the flow here, all right? So that's pretty much it. And then object requirements. What objects is needed to run your app? For example, you need the co the, the contract or the contact app, uh, object and then what kind of sharing and stuff like that this is more complex that you can play around now i'm just gonna make sure i'm gonna upload this guy boom all right so it's cute it's uploading we are going to get back and continue oh that's pretty quick all right so we get an upload installation url so this is the installation url i'm going to use to install it on a test org right so i'm going to copy this url and actually i'm just gonna install it because the next step would be to install that right so we got that so install your package in a test org right so to do that i want to install it to my test enterprise there so i'm going to log in here boom now, zone test enterprise, okay? So if I'm going to install it here, the package, right now, if you go here, we don't have trail, right? There is no trail tracker because we haven't installed it, right? So I'm gonna install it over here by opening the zone enterprise. I'm gonna log in as zone enterprise, okay? Zone test enterprise. And I'm going to install it on my zone. Oh, the package you attempt to install is a beta package, which you can only install on a sandbox or developer edition 
organization. All right, this is, is an enterprise uh, org that I was I was creating on here. So um, let's install it on a trailhead, dude. Okay, let's log into my trailhead. So I'm gonna launch my trailhead here. Scroll all the way up. Install my on my hands on org. I'm just going to log into one of my here. Let's launch this developer beginner. So resourceful raccoon. I'm gonna launch that resourceful raccoon. Okay, and let's make sure we don't have the trail tracker app here. So no trail tracker app, okay? No trail tracker app here. So let, let's install it on my playground. So my resourceful raccoon. Okay, so install trail app by zone dev one to my trailhead resource for raccoon and I'm going to install for all users and then I acknowledge you're installing a non Salesforce application that is not authorized for distribution as part of Salesforce app exchange partner program. All right, we're just testing dude. chill out, right? <laughs> install trail app so this will be ready on our resource for raccoon which should be pretty quick because it's just one custom object a tab and page layout stuff like that so once we are done we should see the trail tracker app come on boom installation complete done and Bada bing, bada boom, TT is there, trail tracker. So we have successfully installed a new app, which is just a trail tracker and it's just trail. Awesomeness, right? So that's how you install an app, but this is an example. Where was it? Here? Oh, here. So you can create a very sophisticated app with your own visual force pages, you know, doing all kinds of awesome stuff. And then you can charge people $5 a piece. But if you have 2000 users, I'll give it $4 to you. <laughs> Something like that, okay? All right, so I think we're done the, tra the trail here. We are going to the hands-on challenge um, on the next video. So summary, let's read this. You must create packages in partner developer edition or developer edition to create the package choose a unique namespace but only choose the good one here don't use up your good namespaces on test orgs or you will be sorry use manage beta packages during the testing cycles because it's easy to modify their contents don't use the manage released one when you're not done done developing all right so use a manage released package only for final testing all right congratulations you have all the skills to use managed beta packages in your development cycle this challenge gives you a bit more practice we'll do this on the next video bada bing bada boom hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom